Hi all, this is a quick video just to show you how to use the sequencer in Beatcraft. So the first thing you need to do is make some patterns. And this is how we normally have it set up, where we just drag up instruments and we make some combinations of instruments. And then we can make a couple of rhythms. Then basically this is pattern one, right? Over here on the right. When you make a new pattern, you can make a brand new empty one, or you can copy pattern one and just adjust it slightly, which can sometimes be a good idea. I might make this a little bit simpler. Ambient low tom part, yeah? And maybe I'll do something cute like a ticker ticker on the last beat, yeah? So that's one method. You can sort of re-edit, or you can make a new blank pattern altogether, and say I wanted to add different instruments in my pattern, have a look back at pattern one. That extra instrument is there, it's just empty. So I might just have a kick pattern that just goes doo doo now and again. Yeah? And pattern three might be really simple. And after a while you lose track of what they're actually all about, so you might just call, rename them. So instead of calling it pattern three, you might call it kick only. Some sort of name. And pattern two might be um, low and high tom or something like that three layer pattern, it doesn't really matter as long as it sort of makes sense to you. Okay, so you can have a number of different patterns up here in this menu. Whatever instruments you add in, they'll all have them, but they'll just be blank, yeah? So if I said, oh, you know what I think I need is a hi-hat, yeah? All of the instruments will end up with hi-hat, it, but it doesn't matter, they're just empty layers, yeah? Okay, so I drag this up and instead of having sample library down here, I have what's called the sequencer. And you'll notice the patterns are down here as well. Yeah? So the sequencer is where you join the patterns together like a um, jigsaw. So you drag them across, and I might just have two bars of this kick only pattern, and then I might have some low and high tom for two bars, and then I might get in my three layer pattern. Yeah, and I might do that twice, and then I might sort of reverse and, and do the same thing I had before and finish off with kick only. Yeah? So I've got sort of like a, an arc like shape where it goes from quite simple kick only as we know it didn't have much in it did it? Then some low and high tom, a bit more exciting and then a three layer pattern. So that's a one layer sequence but of course you can layer things underneath. So rather than sort of doing it all in one sequence you could think okay well the person playing the kick is in layer three, the people playing the low and high tom are in track two. It, it's a, just a different way of organising it. Or you could simply just mix and match however you want. I might want to have kick all the way through Yeah, those sections. Or maybe I don't want that one deleted. So there's a way of just sort of collaging the patterns that you make and obviously you can play them. One thing you can't do down in the sequence uh, in this uh, is change the volume of the overall pattern and once you change it up here it's sort of permanently changed so like if I would change um, this I can sort of change the volume of each instrument um, but there's no way of adjusting the patterns once they're in the sequence but anyway it's sort of a fun activity you can end up with quite exciting result if you open the sample project that they have given us. Obviously I should save this project but I'm not going to. You'll see they've got eight patterns and they've actually named it certain things. So the intro hit pattern is really simple. It's got a little bit of this butter pattern in it. Yeah, not much else. Then there's some little bit of chimey sounds, some shakers. Yeah, then it's the rock end is also pretty simple isn't it? Look, not much in there. And then there's just an end pattern. Yeah. So when they, when you actually look at them, then the, the patterns themselves are varying levels of complexity. But when you go down here and listen to the whole thing, yeah, there's all sorts of interesting things in here. And for some who are a bit more advanced, you'll notice that they're using very careful dynamics and changing the volume of each hit. Yeah, that's 30 that's 20 and that's 10, what's the bet? Yeah, so when you play that intro hit thing, you can really hear that top line fading out. So they've done some really subtle work with dynamics. 
So that's basically it. Have a play and when you're finished, render to audio and then send me a link to the folder, the entire folder that has the project file and the rendered mp3 of the sequence that you've made because I'd like to see the project as well.